Coin. Hey there, YouTube Coin community. This is Dustin with CoinOp. Today, we are going to be taking a look at uh, five popular peace dollar varieties. We're going to dive into this one. But first of all, before we jump into this, I wanted to give a shout out. Matthew, the great coin roll hunter. Uh, he has been following our channel for quite some time, and he also has his own channel where he uh, coin roll hunts on camera, and uh, he's very knowledgeable on what he talks about, and uh, he does a really great job with his videos. I do watch them from time to time. So I watch him and Couch Coins uh, quite a bit, so I do recommend you go check him out. So I will post the link down in the comments. If you're interested in seeing some coin roll hunting, go check him out. Once again, that's Matthew, the great coin roll hunter, and I will post a link down to his channel. Okay, on to the peace dollar varieties. Now, in this video, when I am discussing value, I am only discussing uncirculated value. Most of the uh, uh, varieties that I am showing you, the values that I could find for them, were only for uncirculated examples. Uh, these are pretty popular varieties, so they are, for the most part, pretty plentiful. But none of these are super high dollar peace dollars, but uh, they definitely are much more valuable than if they were not a variety. So let's dive right on in. First of all, we are taking a look at a 1922 peace dollar. This is a VAM 1F. Once again, this is VAM 1F. Uh, this one you can clearly see, and you can see it with the naked eye, a die break in the right field basically if you look down at the eagle and you look to the right of it on the reverse of the coin you can see a nice die break uh, die break is when the the die itself starts to break away and it'll leave big chunks of metal on the coin or design loss if you ever see a die break on the rim it is known as a rim cut or just a cut this is a die break that can be seen to the right in the field now values on this one, uncirculated examples tend to trade anywhere between $200 up to $1,500. So if you do find one of these, if you're out cherry picking or you collect your peace dollars and you happen to go through them and you find one of these, it's definitely worth a lot more than if it was not a variety. Okay, now we are moving on to our number two slot. This is also a 1922 uh, peace dollar. This is VAM 2F. This is the hairpin variety. Uh, this one features a die gouge on the tiara. If you are looking at the tiara below the E in Liberty, you will see a die gouge. I'll have one of the images with it circled. Now, if you do happen to find one of these examples, uncirculated examples, do tend to trade between $80 and upwards of $300. We are moving on to a 1923 peace dollar. This one is listed as VAM-1. Once again, this one is listed as VAM-1. This one is known as the whisker jaw variety. Quite clearly, you can see a die break to the left side of the neck and cheek, which gives it the look of having a whisker sticking out of her jaw. Poor Lady Liberty. I know this is quite a popular variety. This is the whisker jaw variety. If you do happen to find one of these, examples tend to trade anywhere from $80 upwards of $300. And I do keep in mind these are uncirculated examples that I am giving values for. Okay, we are now taking a look at a 1926. This is a VAM 2. This is a 1926 piece dollar VAM 2. This one features a doubled reverse. Now on this one, doubling can be seen on the lower reverse and definitely on the leaves. You will definitely see it on the leaves. Um, basically the lower half of the coin, you can see doubling on just about everything. If you happen to find one of these in uncirculated conditions, they start around $70 and they trade on the upwards of $1,500. So these can be quite valuable if you happen to find one. Now we are moving on to a 1934D. This one features a doubled adverse. So the front of the coin is doubled. This one is listed as VAM 3. Once again, this is a 1934D piece dollar listed as VAM 3. 
Doubling can easily be seen on this one. You can see it with the naked eye. You can actually see the doubling on the rays, uh, on the tiara, on the headband. You can definitely see the doubling there. And you can also clearly see it on the face. Uh, doubling is evident on the motto. If you were to look up close on the lettering, you will see it is doubled. Now, this one, examples do tend to trade in uncirculated condition between 180 upwards of $1,600. On to the bonus coin. Now for the bonus coin, I decided to go with value over variety. So this is not a variety coin. What you are looking at though is a very high grade. This is an MS-68 PCGS graded 1925 piece dollar. Uh, this is the highest graded example known for the 1925. And this one is sold in Heritage Coin Auction are you ready for this? For $89,125. Now, I do must admit, this has an excellent strike. The coin has excellent eye appeal. It is just a very beautiful example. And as I said, this is the highest known graded example. So, of course, it's going to fetch big, big money. So, once again, this one sold for $89,125 in Heritage Coin Auctions. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope it gave you something to search for when you're out at a coin shop, potentially cherry pick some nice piece dollar varieties. Or if you happen to have some piece dollars laying around that you never checked for varieties, hopefully you have a few of these. Uh, add some extra value to your coins. If you would like to help our channel, you can do so by hitting the thumbs up button. The more you hit the thumbs up button, the more it encourages YouTube to share our content with more and more people. So hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribing definitely helps us out. So you can always hit the subscribe button as well. We would definitely love you for it. We do have a website. It is varietyerrors.com. Once again, it is varietyerrors.com. We do have a forum on there and we do have products, uh, we have a little store. Uh, we do have some guidebooks for sale that we've written. Um, I wrote one, my publicist wrote another. So there's, there's some things on there for you. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, if you would like to find myself or Robert Lawson, you can always find us in the CoinOp group on Facebook. So I will post a link to that down in the comments as well. And once again, go check out Matthew the Great Coin Roll Hunter. Uh, he's been a subscriber of mine for quite some time. He's very interactive with the comments on uh, my YouTube videos. And uh, he has some great content on his own over on his channel. So go check him out. Go check out some of his content. We do have some exciting things down the road. So do stay tuned. I will keep you informed as they are coming closer. And once again, thank you for your view and have fun.